praise God for another month, the month of February. We thank God for his faithfulness. We want to go through some few lessons here. Don't forget our theme for the year, living sacrifice, living sacrifice. And today we are dealing with, or this particular month we are dealing with, living sacrifice with riches. Nobody gives himself out without receiving the abundance of God's blessings. In Proverbs chapter 20, uh, 22, the verse 4, it said, By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. By humility and the fear of God. Don't forget the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. By humility and the fear of God are riches and honor and life. What is riches? Riches is a suitable accumulation of resources and possessions of values which gives you all run satisfaction or all run sufficient satisfaction. So we need to be rich. You and I need to be rich in every aspect. Rich in wisdom, rich in knowledge, rich in the word of God, rich financially, rich in health. So when we talk about riches, people only want to talk about money. You can have the, all the money in the world, but I can assure you, if your health is no good, what becomes the, the money that you have gained? If, if you have mental challenges, how do you enjoy? So we are praying that these riches will, will, will move all around, will give sufficient satisfaction. And I pray anybody that is going through mental stress, these things are things that we normally don't pay attention to, but many people are going through some mental challenges, mental difficulties, mental depression, and all sorts of things. So please let me use this platform to encourage you that if you have saw a friend that you know once in a while you react the person the way you used to react is no more, please get closer and find out. And if he tells you something, please be careful. Confidentiality is also very, very important. Where there's a need for you to get expert, please get them. There have been issues and matters that have gotten to me. I'm not perfect or I'm not, I'm not qualified in dealing with them. And sometimes what I do is to consult other friends who are in that field and they guide. Sometimes my friends are, are not into that field, but they also direct me to other people who are expert. And it helps a lot. Recently, I, I nearly found myself in something and I, I called and then they directed me to some, some legal people and, and I really thank God for their lives. I can't mention their name here. And the guidelines they gave me and what I must do was really, really, it was a blessing. It was a blessing. So I also want to use this opportunity. Men of God, we should not sit to think that we are all around, we know everything. Areas that you are not expert, please get expert. You can go to police station and find out certain few things. Go to social welfare, go to a mental home, go to other places and get information from them. And I believe that is going to help us a lot. So I want to begin with this. Number one, let's consider some few lessons here. Giving a true support to those in need will give you the riches in abundance. When you give to support those who are in need, and, 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 and so those who supported are people that, you know, we gather the things, not for ourselves. We contribute ourselves also. We gather all these things and then we send it to deprived areas or people who are in need, the fatherless, so that those who are taking care of them can use it to support themselves. And when you do this, let me tell you, you'll be rich in abundance. I spoke to you about that. Riches is not only about money, but it can give you, you can have peace in richness, you can have hope, you can have joy in abundance. In Joshua chapter 22, Joshua 22, the verse 6 to 8. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away. And they went unto their tent. Now to the one half of the tribe of Manasseh, Moses has given possession in Bashan. But unto the other half thereof, 
gave Joshua among their brethren in this side of Jordan, westward. And when Joshua had sent them away also into their tent, then he blessed them. And he spake unto them, saying, Return with much riches. I speak that you will return. You, this year, when you go to work, you will return back with riches. When you move out, may your going out be blessed, may your coming be blessed. When your children move out, may they return with riches. May your wife and husband move out, may they return back with riches in the name of Jesus Christ. It said, return with much riches unto your tent. Your tent means that your house or your home. And with very much cattle, oh yes, and with silver, and with gold, and with bronze, and with iron, and with very much remnant or garment. Divide the spoil of your enemies with your brethren. So you realize that Joshua said, when you go, I know victory has already been given to you. And as you step out and you win the battle and you get all these riches, please, when you return with these riches, don't live with it alone. I bet you, if I want to tell you, a amount of money that went out of me, in fact, it has been going almost every, every month. So I don't want to. But December and January become more, more tedious. But God has never disappointed me. For these 33 years, I've sold my cars twice in helping others. I've given my resources to people. I've slept in kiosks for seven years using my rent money to support other people. And I've never regretted. The Lord has been so good. I don't expect anything from those people. Because the Lord is my rewarder. Amen. Number two, your gifts and ability with information can enrich you. Your gifts and your ability with information can enrich you. So when you have the, God has endowed each one of us with a gift. And don't just sit down and have a gift. The gift needs to be equipped you need information to attach to the so sometimes you have to move to people who are experts. My media personnel will tell you that he started it in a way, but gradually he has to, you know, study under people and go here. Today he's expert in a lot of areas, and others are learning from him. So you don't have a gift and you sit down without developing the gift. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Because your riches are in it. It means that you have, to, you, you have to build yourself. You need more information. You have to learn on your own. You have to learn from others so that you can get the riches you need. First Samuel chapter 17, the verse 25 and 26. And the men of Israel, and the men of Israel said, Have ye seen this man, talking to David, that is come up, surely, to defy Israel, is he coming up? And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king would enrich him. And great riches, <laughs> the king would enrich him with great riches and would give him his daughter, my goodness, and make his father's house free in Israel, meaning that they will not pay us. And David spoke to the man that stood by saying, what shall be done to the man that killed these Philistines? <laughs> uh, and it and take it away the reproach from Israel. For who is this uncircumcised Philistines that he should defy the armies of the living God? David had been sent by his father to go and give food to his brethren who were soldiers in Saul's army. And when he got there, there was fear all over. And this guy came with Goliath, making all. And David inquired to know who is this person. David was skillful in everything, but he needed information. And let me tell you, inform the information you get can increase your ability to do more. When David heard that the king is saying that the king that is the one in charge of the battle says that whoever will kill this man, the king said, I will enrich the person. I will give the person my wife, uh, sorry, uh, my daughter. I will give my daughter to that person. The person will not pay any bride price. 
And the, the person's house will have task free. When David heard this, something just jumped up of his ears. I remember I've been killing bears and lions at the back there. When you read down was, it was led to Saul's house and negotiation went on. He came back to face Goliath, killed this Goliath, and indeed, he made all these promises were given. So it is not enough just to have a gift, but when you get a gift, make sure you seek for information that can motivate you, that can bring passion into your life to be able to achieve the richness you need in your life. Number three, asking God for what would please him and walking in his way will cause him to honor you with riches. Asking God, asking God for what will please him and walking his way will cause him to honor you with riches. And so first King chapter 3, the verse 12 to 14. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lord, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the king like unto thee all thy days. And if thou would walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandment as thy father David did walk, then I would lengthen thy days. And so Solomon had a dream and then the Lord appeared to him and the Lord asked him what he should ask. And Solomon began to ask the Lord things that, in fact, he praised the request that would please God. But God should give him wisdom and understanding heart. And God said because of what he did, he has added riches, he has added honor, he has added length of days. But there are a condition attached, he said, if you will walk to please me as your father David has done. So we, we have to understand how we even present our prayers to God. And when God is blessing us, one of the ways to, to continue to sustain the riches is for us to make sure we obey God in all times, not allow the riches to take, a, take us away from God's presence because God has blessed us with a wife or husband and children. We no longer even want to serve God again. We use them as an excuse. That's not what God is looking for. Number four, your service to God will definitely connect you to his riches. Your service to God will definitely connect you to his riches. In 1 Chronicles chapter 29, the verse 26 to 27. Thus David, the son of Jesse, ruled all over Israel. And the time that he and the time that he reigned over Israel was 40 years. Seven years reigned in Hebron, and 30 years he reigned in Jerusalem. And he died in good old age, full of days, riches, and honor. And Solomon, his son, reigned in his state or on behalf. So you find out that David committed himself to the service of God. And the Lord honored him with riches and with honor. David was a man after God's own heart. Yes, he has his fault, he made mistakes. And yet, he knows how to serve God. A man that prays three times a day, and seven times a day he praises the Lord. A man that has said his mistakes and fought at any given time that he goes wrong. This is a man that God was willing to bless at any time. So may your service to God bring riches and honor and longevities of days in your life in Jesus' name. Number five, seeking to follow the steps of godly people ahead of you will usher you to God's riches. Seeking to follow the steps of godly people ahead of you will, connect, will usher you to God's riches. In 2 Chronicles chapter 1, the verse 17, verse 7 to 12, verse 7 to 12, in that night did God appear unto Solomon and said unto him, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said unto God, Thou hast shown great mercy unto David my father, and hast made me to reign in his state. Now, O Lord, 
let thy promise unto David my father be established. For thou hast made me king over a people like the dust of the earth in the multitude. Give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before these people. For who can judge this thy people that is so great? And God said to Solomon, Because this was in thy heart. So be careful what you present to God when you stand before him. And thou hast not asked riches, wealth, or honor, nor the life of thy enemies. Neither yet hast thou as long life, but thou hast asked wisdom and understanding for thyself, that thou mayest judge my people, over whom I have made thee king. Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee, and I will give thee riches and wealth and honor, and such as of the kings have had that have been before thee, neither shall there any after thee have the like. So Solomon asked God, God appeared, what do you need? He said, God, this your people are great. And I cannot do, riches cannot rule them. Honor cannot rule them. What can rule them is your wisdom, your understanding or knowledge. And God said, because you have done this. And I love something that he said, he said, so when I go out and come in with my dealings with them, I should be able to handle it in a manner that will please you and honor you. And the Lord said, because of what you have done, I'm adding up. May the Lord add up. May the Lord add up his blessings. Set your heart right when you stand before God and you are putting your request. It shouldn't become something. You realize that this prayer has nothing to do about himself, but something that will promote the kingdom work. May we have a heart to promote the kingdom work and all other things. That's what the Bible says. Seek you the kingdom of God. Yeah, this is exactly in connection with that. Seek you the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. Let me conclude by saying that let your riches impart your generation. Whatever, it may be riches in wisdom, it may be riches in understanding, it may be riches in knowledge, it may be riches in counsel, in encouragement. Look, riches are all over. And use it to impart your generation. Riches is not only money. May God bless you for hearing us. Are you here? I don't know the Lord as your personal Savior. The richness of God is ever ready to, to, to come to you, to, to step at your door. Let me tell you, uh, if you can avail yourself and accept the Lord, all these blessings shall be part of you. If you are willing, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Write my name in the book of life and wash me with your blood. Help me to serve you in Jesus' name. May I pray for you, Father. May your richness come upon your people. May it overshadow them. May this year be a year of fruitful, a year of abundance, a year of honor, a year of glory. I thank you for hearing us in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm Samuel Obese, and I thank you for being with us. Subscribe, share, touch the bell, and also comment. And we believe that God is going to bless you. Those who have accepted the Lord as your personal Savior, I want to encourage you. You look for a Bible-believing church, attend, and serve God so that all these riches will be your portion in Jesus' name. And I want to thank our partners for being there for us. You want to be part of it, the Momo Noma is down there. We are having, we will just go for a short break and we'll come back to the next uh, series and I know that it's going to bless you. Amen. We are blessed beyond case.